putting a Philadelphia neighborhood back together. Today, volunteers made repairs on three homes damaged in an hours long police standoff and shootout this summer in Nice Town, Tioga. Eyewitness News reporter Howard Monroe is live on the 3700 block of North 15th Street with the story. Howard. Well, that standoff lasted for more than seven hours back in August. And while three homes were repaired today, people who live here say getting beyond this will take more than just a bucket of paint. It's going to fade away just like most memories do over time. Painting over the memories of an awful day. It's never going to be erased, not in some people's minds, especially the ones that were traumatically hit by this whole thing. Ken Foreman says he remembers August 14th like it was yesterday. Foreman lives across the street from where Philadelphia police exchanged gunfire with Maurice Hill during a seven hour long standoff and shootout. He says a bullet went through his window over his bed and pierced his back wall. I never hear nothing like this before. I never seen nothing like this before. This is hell. What's going on here? Foreman's house was hit at least 14 times. He says the bullet holes served as a daily reminder of what happened. Do you think you're lucky to be alive? That was the hands of God. When I lay down there, I start to pray. And I said, God, what am I going to do? And he said, don't worry, I got you. In the days following the shootout, Mayor Kenny asked for help repairing the homes on the block. On Tuesday, volunteer contractors came out to begin the work on three houses. It's a nice block, nice neighbors, and uh, they, deserve, uh, they deserve to live in peace and have their homes put back together again. Through the union's apprentice program, they often go to the communities to make repairs. Beyond the handiwork, pizza was brought in for students at Precious Babies Learning Academy. The school was on lockdown during the shootout. Foreman says he's grateful for the work. Because every time I walk up the step and see those bullets roll, oh, it get to me. Now, it's not clear if the union will be back out here to repair other homes here on the block. However, Mr. Foreman says that the union will be back to replace his bedroom window within the coming weeks. Live in Nice Town, Tioga, Howard Monroe, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Okay, Howard, thank you.